today we're going to install two cleats, or we just installed two cleats, pull-up cleats on the starboard and the port side of my Sportsman 232. I just recently installed a 72-inch Minn Kota Tarova. It comes right down the center of the boat. I have a cleat up on the front. It makes it a little difficult to tie up with this cleat, so we installed a port side and a starboard side Gemlux pull-up cleat. We'll be showing you a video on how to install this later. And, and just make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't already, please like our videos and share. I'll continue to post as many videos as I can on this Sportsman 232 and the adventures we take with it. So again, Gemlux pull-up cleats, best in the industry on the Sportsman 232 Open, it's a 2019 model. We'll be uh, posting some videos with our Minn Kota Tarova uh, 72 inch as well. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, thanks. They come from Gemlux like this. Four holes in the boat. Uh, two one inch holes and then two smaller holes on either side of it. This is where the washers go and the nylon threading pin. This is for the upward mechanism. They're pull up cleats. So this is where the pull up piston goes, pull up piston goes. And then you basically have to make sure everything's clear beneath it. You use 5200 to seal this base onto the boat. And that's about it. That's 5200 sealant. It will get on your fingers. It's nasty stuff. So use gloves. Use gloves for sure. And uh, I'll walk you through the process. I went home before I did this install and the key is measure, 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 measure. I drew a template on cardboard. Then I actually went and cut into a piece of wood, make sure it made sure this thing fit into a piece of wood at home too. And then I basically drew the same template onto the boat, made sure it was straight, make sure both sides are even. And uh, you can see it's almost an exact replica of what it's supposed to look like. hole saw for the main two holes and then for the bolts I'm using a half inch cobalt bit. I'm always going to start in reverse to try not to cause cracking in the gel coat. Gotta get the, uh, the gel coat out of the bit so I can drill the next hole. That's all fiberglass from inside the boat. As you can see, I've drilled the four holes to match here at the one inch holes. You got the half inch screws that go through. Made a pretty clean pass through. Now we want to test fit and make sure this thing lined up the way it was supposed to line up. So it's a clear pass through. It fits. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out. So we're gonna use 5200 because these are permanent. People don't take their cleats in and out. I'm gonna apply it to the bottom of the deck where you can see all the holes around each one of the holes. And then a little bit underneath here, I'm gonna tighten up the bolt. As you can see, I've carefully applied 5200. Did get some on my fingers, which is terrible. If you do get 5200 or 4200 on your fingers by accident, use WD-40 and get it while it's wet. Once it dries, it'll be really hard to get off your fingers. Now we're gonna carefully place the cleat back in. It should slide right on in, you see? I'm gonna go underneath now and I'm gonna use nylon washers and bolts. I'm going to use a ratchet. The ones that came from Gemlux were a 19 millimeter. I'm going to go down and apply equal pressure on both sides. 